Today I'm going to show you the fast version of connecting a Mio XM and a PA12 to get a controller uh, from the Mio XM into the Play Audio 12 into Ableton and doing all the routing back and forth and the Play Audio 12 and the Mio XM are going to be connected via Ethernet. So let's get that hooked up. So I'm using this Play Audio 12 right here and then over on this side we are going to go to the Mio XM08. So I'm going to go and RTP, I'm going to grab this, we're going to create two MIDI ports for DIN ports and host ports, and then we need, we'll need to channelize those to do those, to get all those controllers through separately, but there we go. So I've copied in the Bonjour name after putting them into Initiator, and we've clicked Saved, and you can see the two connections made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the XM here, we're going to go into Host Port and Reserve Our Devices. And then I'm going to go to the MIDI routing on that guy. There we go. And we're going to send all the DINs to RTP1. There we go. We're going to send all the host to RTP2. Again, if you are finding this hard to follow because I'm doing it very quickly, um, please check out the other video and uh, if you need to catch up on a specific part of what I'm doing here. Alright, so that's all done. I'm also going to do the RTP coming back. So coming back, we want RTP1 to go to all the DIN ports. We want RTP2 to go to all the host ports. Alright, and I'm going to go to Play Audio 12. We're going to do MIDI writing over here, which is basically all set up by default. Uh, but I'm going to go over and I'm going to do the rename of the ports. So this is going to be XM DINs. And we'll also do it for Jack 2. Also note if you need these named, these renamed ports to show up, these need to be the same. So they're the same on both computers. So the sessions match and you don't have to reroute MIDI. Uh, and both, uh, if you, you'll need to do the renaming sequence to get Mac to rescan the device on both computers as well. There's going to be a link to this, that in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, we're going to do HS. Just copying and pasting those into RTP2 on both jacks. And that's actually all you have to do. Um, and both these devices are set up. So now all the host ports are coming through on RTP2 and all the DIN ports are coming through on RTP1. So if you're connected USB to your computer, I'll open up Ableton here just to show you. And we're gonna go command comma or control comma to go into the prefs for Ableton, a link MIDI, um, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to scroll to your PA12 and on the PA12 you're going to use RTP1 for the DIN ports and we're going to use RTP2 for the host ports on the XM. Uh, it leaves two more ports open if you want to connect another XM or another device and also note that this is not necessarily for an XM but you can do it with any other eye connectivity ethernet connected device in this kind of same way. Um, and if you want to do a control service, just select your control service and select the port they're connected to. So if I have one in my host port, I could just select RTP2, which is the host ports. And again, if I did the renaming Mac thing, it would uh, rename those to hosts, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then select your control. And then you would have it all set up. Make sure to do it on the output as well to get your sync in your remote. And that's all you would have to do. So this is the quick version. Again, if you need more info, check out the description and hit up the long version. Hopefully that helps.